straight out there, but action on Paul, and he's going to lead out with his two pair, about 60,000. Now, Richard, let's see if he gets fancy with it. No, he's just going to make the call. Well, he's just going to call. He's been beat around so much here tonight. He's going to take the conservative route, just call with the aces up, and they're going to be good. What do you know? Richard Kane can win a pot. <laughs> A bit of unfortune for Paul right there after flopping two pair to get out drawn on the turn like that. I think he lost the minimum he could lose after flopping two pair events. Nine five, man. Oh my God, the disrespect. Well, Richard Kane, the 33 year old from San Francisco who started playing poker just two years ago, takes down his first pot. Hubris may invite Nemesis here, but my biggest fear is myself. Impossible capitulating under the glare of the lights, or if I go down a couple hundred thousand to start, then maybe I just tighten up, and that's a recipe for failure in poker. And Vince, his wife Erica, is four months pregnant. She's on the ship with him. What a story. Got a shot at $1.5 million. But action's going back on Matthew this time. Throws away Jack Five. Round to the Colonel, he folds. Paul folds. Back to our man Richard Kane, and he's got a whopper. The double ruler's pair of kings. Well, he's got the big hand this time. Michael Grotz in the small blind looks at 7-8 a club. Suited connector, he calls a 60,000. And I'm going out. So two-way action. Big opportunity once again for Richard Kane. Well, here comes the flop. Flop is 7-7 seven, seven queen. Just a great flop for Michael Grotz here. Oh. And he leads right out with the three sevens, Vince. The kid from North Carolina with the three sevens. Notice Richard just calls with the two kings. You have to think two kings are good here. Here comes the turn. Well, the six of clubs comes off. Now Michael checks, so Richard's gonna think he might have a diamond draw here even. Or maybe he has a queen, so he's bet this. And he's been raised, Vince. Michael Garazza's check raised him. re -raise. And Richard's gonna re-raise. You see the look on Michael's face right there. He's saying to himself, does this guy have queens fold? Did he really have a pair of queens in the hole? Let me just call him here. This is a huge pot developing between these two. Richard believes that this guy wouldn't have bet on the flop with the three sevens, that he probably just has a queen. River card coming up. Well, the river card's an ace. Well, that's a card Richard's not going to be crazy about. That could slow the action down here a little bit. Michael's going to lead on bet 60,000. <sighs> Richard's going to call him. And Richard is not going to like this. And right now, Vince, the hurricane man has got to feel like he's in the eye of the storm. No doubt about that. He's been downgraded to a tropical storm. <laughs> that was a tough hand to lose. Two kings he started with. Just a powerful poker hand. Michael flopped three sevens. Catching good, playing well. That's a tough combination to beat. Fast action on the cruise. We're coming right back. Stay with us on the World Poker Tour. My style is going to be pretty aggressive. Hopefully I will keep that up. Staying aggressive is how I got here, and I'm going to dance with the girl that brung me. My parents are not at all happy about me being a poker player. So my father offered me $6,000 not to come this week, uh, which I declined, and it's, it's worked out. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. I'm Vince Van Patten with Mike Sexton. We are cruising along. Six players remain. And right now, the new chip leader is the 24-year-old phenom out of Raleigh, North Carolina, Michael Grotz. So far, everything going his way and nothing going the way of Richard Kane. Well, Richard Kane short stacks, throws away Jack, eight of diamonds. Michael Grotz going out. And now it's on Adam Shalani with 10 deuce. Raise. Doyle Brunson hand. He's going to raise with this. Ooh. Matthew going out. Well, the Colonel looks down at a very nice hand, ace, queen of hearts. We're going to re-raise. He's going to three-bet it. Make it 120000 to go. Yes, he is. Stiff raise there. Paul Darden with 7-6 of we'll diamonds. Paul out. Now it's back to the kid. Well, Adam's going to call with a 10-deuce. Adam trying to make something happen here with just a 10-deuce. You got nothing again? Uh, absolutely. I usually re-raise with nothing. Oh, a dream flop for the Colonel. He's flopped the top pair and the nut flush draw. Right behind him, the kid is going to make the call. Obviously, his intent is to try to steal this pot later on. You getting any of that? Nope. 
good. Well, he caught a little piece of it. He's got one of the deuces. That is my card. Okay, well, in that case, I'll bet it for you. Uh, the Colonel's going to bet. But Adam is going to raise him here, Vince. Adam's trying to make a play on the Colonel. Well, quickly, the Colonel calls the raise. Can't push this tough Colonel out. And the Colonel far in front. He's got two aces with the nut flush draw. River card coming up. Huge pot. Nearly 700000 in there right now. Oh, it's another deuce. What a disastrous okay. card for the Colonel. He's checked it. Adam Betts, the Colonel is not going to like it when he sees Adam's hand here. You guys are going to love this one. Ooh, well, Doyle Brunson will be proud of that kid on this hand, Vince. Yeah. But that's about the only one. Well, I'll tell you one thing. That will shake up the Colonel, Vince. Start playing taps here for the Colonel. Gee, many Christmas. What a bad beat. That was ugly. Whoa, nice hand. Just an incredible suck out by the youngster from Minnesota. A good short stack player is a lucky player. I consider myself pretty lucky, so hopefully it'll work out. Double up, baby. That's great. Get in there. Everybody calls. Well, I think my odds are quite horrible for winning today, but uh, I'm pulling for me. Even a, even a blind squirrel can get lucky every now and again. The poker gods looking down on him tonight. Mm. Mm. They could fry an egg on the colonel's head right now. <laughs> you just got to think that he wishes he was a drill sergeant right now and Adam was in his platoon. All right, the private war has started. Back on the colonel, David Minto. This time he's got a big hand, pair of jacks wired. We'll try again. Well, I hope you don't have any deuces this time. Well, he's going to try again, he says. Okay. You can't blame him with two jacks. That's the attitude, Colonel. Paul Darden quickly out. Richard Kane going out. Michael Grotz, the chip leader. And you bet into me. Throws away jack four. It's clear I had a deuce. You know, the Colonel hoping this guy comes into the pot, but Adam folds. Matthew with the queen, nine of spade, and the big blind. Look who's finally emerging. Welcome to the game, Matthew. Here comes the flop. Flop comes queen, 10-9. Matthew has flopped two pair. And he quickly checked it. The colonel has flopped an open end straight draw with his two jacks. Bets it. And Matthew quickly calls him. Right now, Matthew out in front. Colonel's going to need some help. And he gets it right here in the turn. He's made his straight. But Matthew's going to lead right out and bet with the two pair. He's going to try to find out where he is with Raise. his hand. Well, you see what's going to happen to him. He's getting raised right now by the colonel. Colonel makes it 160,000. Now, Matthew probably figuring the colonel has a straight here. Does he want to call and try to make his full house? Love to send this kid back to the barracks. No, Matthew's going to lay it down. He does so. Wow. He was trying to scare me there for Pretty a second. Pretty nice lay down by Matthew. Looks good for the game. Excellent lay down. So it is forward march right now for the colonel. Back on track. He's known as the Colonel, and tonight David Mento is going to battle at the poker table. I retired from the Air Force as a lieutenant colonel about eight years ago, and uh, went back to work for the Air Force as an engineer. We actually put rockets behind vehicles and shoot them down a rail to test uh, everything from warheads to ejection seats. We currently hold the world land speed record of 6,453 miles per hour for a ground vehicle. That's right at Mach 9. The Colonel may love the fast lane, but prefers to slow things down at the poker table. I'm just going to sit back and be patient and wait. Oh, here you go. And wait until I can really punish him. Yeah. We've got a 22, a 23, a 24 year old, so I'm going to have to tell them to respect their elders. That's what impresses me about these players is how intelligent they really are. I mean, we've got three college guys out there, very smart guys. The colonel's an engineer. Well, they got to be smart. I mean, they're taking all the money on the ship. They're the smartest ones here this week, that's for sure. And what money at stake? $7.4 million in this tournament. All right, action back on Richard Kane. He's short stack now. He has king nine of clubs. Got to get aggressive. Michael Grotz, 10-6 in his hand. He's doing the sides. Goes out. Adam folds. Matthew, of course, goes out with 8-7. The Colonel lays it down. And now it's on Paul Darden, and Paul has got the ladies, the Hilton sisters, the Gabors. Well, he's loving it. He's going to try to get Richard's money here, no doubt about it. He pops it up. But Richard's going to be stubborn. He's going to call this. Richard in dire straits here. On the verge of being the sixth-place finisher. 
Here comes a flop. Oh, a great flop for Richard. He's flop top pair. He's got the kings. Oh, that is beautiful for him so far. Paul's going to bet the two queens. And Richard? I just can't imagine he's not going to put them all in right here. And he does so. Paul sensing he flopped the king, not liking it, but still, you got to put your money in there with two queens. So our first all-in situation. Double up, Hurricane. He knows he's well out in front right now. Will Richard Kane stay alive? So Hurricane Kane all in with all those chips, but he's out in front with the kings. But this has not been his night so far. He's got to beat Paul Darden's queens. We're coming right back. Stay with us on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour, where Richard the Hurricane Kane is trying to stay afloat. Will his two kings hold up against Paul Darden's queens, or will the truth be too much to take? Right now, Richard Kane all in, but he's out in front. He has two kings, Paul Darden with two queens. Richard needs to win this pot to stay alive. Can he do it? Well, he has been chinked all night. Here comes the turn card. The deuce of diamonds comes on the turn. That's good for Richard. Still out in front with his kings. Paul Darden is going to have to catch a lady. He must catch a queen to win this pot. The PR guy from California. Got to sweat out one more card. Richard all smiles right now, and why not? He's done it. He's doubled up to stay alive. Oh, boy. Fist in the air. Gets back at his old rival, Paul Darden, there. Well, he hadn't had much go his way so far. He got very lucky there to win that pot and stay alive. The sting of necessity was bearing down on me hard. I'm a watch. Paul Darden thinking, geez, I finally pick up a big hand and I get outdrawn here. The hurricane back in full force. Well, action's going to be on Adam here. Well, he looks down at two deuces. Tries again. He loves deuces. We saw that earlier, and he's going to raise it with him. Matthew right behind him with a pair of five throws it away. Very tight. Now the colonel. Colonel's got king nine. He goes out. Paul Tartan looking down at a 10-4. Throws it away. Now we look at Richard Kane. This time he's got king four. He's going to fold, and Michael Gratz in the big blind with a pair of threes. He's going to call here. So we've got deuces versus threes. Two young guns going at it here. Here comes a flop. Oh, Adam has flopped three of a kind here. Oh, it's just tremendous for him. Action is on Michael. Michael Grot's going to make the initial bet. 40,000 here. Adam quickly raising, making it 80,000 with three of a kind. Not going to play it slow. Limit poker, you got to be a little more obvious. Look at this. Instead of throwing his hand away, Michael Grotz, three betting it here, trying to make something happen. It's not going to work because Adam has flopped the set. Huge pot developing right now. Oh, Michael heading for big trouble here. Here comes the turn card. Oh, trouble no more for Michael. <laughs> oh, no. He now has three threes. <sighs> He leads out and bets. The kid from North Carolina. There's also three diamonds on the board, so that's going to be a little scary. Adam just opts to call on the turn with the three deuces. No doubt about it, especially when he was re-raised. Here comes the river card. It's an ace. Back on Michael. And he's going to check here, Vince. And quickly, Adam's going to bet three of a kind. And look at this. It's going to be a check raised by Michael. Yeah, he's going to get an extra bet out of this. Well, he quickly gets paid off by Adam. And Adam is going to be sick when he sees this hand because he's going to know that he was outdrawn on the turn. And it is a massive pot. I can beat nothing. Shows the hand. Well, the three deuces paying dividends for Adam earlier when it came deuce, deuce, and he won the pot. This time he flopped three deuces, Vince. It came back to haunt him. I guess he's better at reading the deck than I am. Boy, the kid from North Carolina, originally out of Poland, is going to extend his lead with that. My name is Michael Cross. I play poker for a living. Right now, there's no better profession for a 24-year-old kid. Okay. Fly around the country playing poker in, in prestigious casinos and on cruise ships. You can't beat that. Michael Gross is on the move. This youngster from North Carolina is spitting tobacco in these guys' faces right now. <laughs> Back to the table. The Colonel David Minto out of New Mexico. Oh, I'm first. I better pay attention. You gotta love this guy, Vance. Yeah. 
always got a smile on yeah. his face. He's just happy to be out of the brig. <laughs> he throws away 10-6. Paul, not too happy at the moment.